Boys and girls, allow me to introduce you to the artist Romero Brito. He's an artist who not only paints, but also creates sculptures. The main focus of his masterpieces are almost always color, baby, color, lines, shape, and pattern. Those are the words we're really going to focus on today as we start our Romero Brito inspired heart masterpiece. The first thing you'll need to do is take your heart template, place it in the middle of your paper, and trace around it using your extra hand to hold the paper still. Thanks, hand! Once that's finished, you're going to use something called a paint marker. Look at that! The cool thing about the paint marker is you don't have to squeeze it. It's filled with paint and works just like a marker. That's why it's called a paint marker. Once you've outlined your heart, you're going to use lines, about four or five lines to break up the space of your heart. When you use those lines, you'll create shapes. Inside of those shapes, let's use lines and shapes to create patterns. Remember, a pattern is something that repeats over and over and over. I'm using a lot of different kinds of lines for my patterns. Patterns was a favorite, or is a favorite, of Romero Brito. Once your heart is dry, we're going to do something called bleeding tissue. Don't worry, no band-aids required. This is all you have to do. Add a little bit of water to one section of your heart and start to lay tissue paper on top. The water will kind of act like a glue and grab onto the tissue paper and hold it in place. But to further suction it or hold it down, you'll need to put more water on top. Notice that I have my tissue paper divided into two kinds of color, warm color and cold color. And I'm using one or the other in the sections of my heart. In my first one, I used cold. Now here you see me using warm. Again, make sure you put paint underneath and on top. I'm sorry, not paint, water, I'm so crazy. While that water is drying, let's use these really cool and colorful paint sticks. I'm using my paint sticks to create dots of color around my heart. And I love to use a variety in my artwork. So I'm not just using one color, I'm going to use all of the colors. And I am making my dots by just creating a little circle by kind of wiggling my paint stick. I am not, you will notice, smacking my paper with my paint stick because that might ruin this really cool art supply. Oh, the best part now to come. Peel off that tissue paper. In fact, it should probably just fall right off. Now let's talk about what bleeding means. It left behind its beautiful color. Voila! I cannot wait to see your masterpieces complete.